kind of took the plunge twice. Um, I was a uh, physics undergrad, and midway through my undergrad career, if you call it that, um, I decided physics was probably not going to be for me because everyone kind of has to go to grad school or go into finance jobs. Um, and I had done internships uh, my freshman and sophomore year and chemical physics professor and then at a defense lab uh, looking at near earth asteroids uh, anyway, really and then I decided I should probably do something different so I had an uncle who was into startups uh, in Silicon Valley and I hadn't really spent any time there because I was afraid of earthquakes uh, literally uh, and I refused to go there when I was a kid but uh, I, I, hooked, I had him hook me up with some kind of job. So I went out there and hit me around with all these companies. And it was at the end of the uh, 90s, so it was like boom time. And it was really cool. And I ended up working at a venture firm that he was kind of bad at the time. And I wrote memos about companies, but it was enough to like, that no one read. But uh, it was enough to get me kind of hooked on the idea that this was cool. And it was at least something I could do. So I immediately kind of hit upon the first startup idea I was interested in, um, which was uh, connecting, increasing parental involvement for, for parents. I thought it would be kind of social uh, venture. I thought that was a whole that went through K-12 education, using the internet. Um, it was an idea that was like 15 years too early. If anyone has this now, that's still just happening. Um, but I wasn't listening to my uncle or anyone else. I kind of patched this in his uh, kitchen. And I went back uh, to school and decided I would just quit. Um, to similar comments from my parents. And um, luckily, though, I had a uh, sort of luck physics major at my school. <laughs> and they came up with some brand new major while I was out in the summer. And I had just randomly had all the requirements to finish it. Um, so my girlfriend at the time, now wife, was like, I looked at the course catalog, she like studied the course catalog, and it was really like plain. Um, I was like, I think you have uh, all the requirements for this. And I did, and so I went into the uh, department chair's head, and I was like, I got all this stuff. He's like, uh, you're right, and so they retroactively gave me my degree, and my dad had saved up some uh, money. Incidentally, I still had to do soccer, because I had finished my degree, but they didn't uh, make it pay for it. Um, anyway, my, uh, my dad had given me some tuition, a set aside tuition for me, and not all of it, but some of it was left over, and he just gave it to me for, for instead of paying it for the fourth year. And so I immediately took that and put it into the scrap and started by idea. And very similar to you, I spent all the friends and family money in time grade, about 30k. Um, although I stretched it a long time. Um, paid, it my, paid my friends who I hired very many. Um, and myself, like zero, and it lasted about 18 months or so, and you know, they all uh, they all left. I had to find jobs, and I kind of ran it myself for six months, and, and decided that was the end. And I tried to sell the company to a bunch of places, and wasn't successful with that. I ended up doing uh, working for the state of Massachusetts for a year, doing something very similar to my company, um, and so got a, kind of a real job for a year. Uh, it was a nonprofit, but but I reported it was actually four levels of management in an eleven person organization. <laughs> so it was a crash course in early job. Uh, and a year after that, I was like, that, it was even though the first experience was terrible, I made so many mistakes. That's a whole other talk. Um, compared to this real job, it was so much better. Um, and decided I would do it again. But this time I really had no money um, and no real idea. So what I did was I said, I had some skills I had amassed. I wasn't a computer science major, but my first company I learned uh, CS stuff. And I said, I'm gonna do consulting for uh, four hours a day. And I was strictly limited. Uh, and I charged 50 bucks an hour, which honestly wasn't even that much for what I was doing. But it was enough to live on. And I, I quit. And I got random consulting gigs off Craigslist and would do that. And I, I did that for a couple of years, really, and uh, started all sorts of different side projects. Another a lot of lessons that I've learned there about not 
of sticky with things and all sorts of other But um, one of those luckily eventually took off, and and I could you know, slowly wean down the consulting as we increase revenue. And we never had any investors, uh, but eventually I could kind of move from that part time to full time. So those are kind of the two kinds I took. 